What do you think about the fact that some people think that the minimum age for doing porn should be 21, not 18? Because you got in before you turned 21, right? I got in a few weeks after I turned 19. So how do you feel about that? Because my – I mean, on the surface, I I can see that because I know a lot of young girls who have not really thought about what they're doing and what they're getting themselves into because it is – I mean, this is going to affect you for the rest of your life, right? Like, we all know that. Yeah. Um, And they don't really think about it, and then they do it, and then they regret it. Um, Whereas I think sometimes when you're older, you, like, are sometimes more mature and make better decisions. But that is not always the case. Yeah. But I, I, on the other hand, I also know that it's been a really beneficial thing for some young girls. It's gotten them out of bad situations. It's allowed them to become independent, financially independent, do their own thing. And, you know, there are some girls that I know, 19 year old girls that are more emotionally mature than some 30 year old girls. I yeah. know. So how do you feel about that? Having gotten into the industry before you were 21 and being 21 now, like, do you think that you would have made better decisions now at your age than you did back then? I'm, I'm tired of humans trying to protect other humans by making rules, Mm. legislation or laws or, you know, just everything like restrictions. I'm so tired of that Mm -hmm. because when I was 18, I knew more like I've, I knew more information. I had more information and I was more emotionally mature and at a higher intellectual level Mm -hmm. than a lot of 30 year olds, like you said. Yeah. So like, and I, I met 25 year olds in porn that I think have no idea what they're getting themselves into. Yeah. I don't think that there should be any sort of age raise Mm -hmm. for the restriction of when you can get into porn. Mm -hmm. I think that if you get into this and you're not ready for it, that is a battle that you're going to have to fight on your own. Right. Like there are resources and a lot of people want to help you and will help you, but we can't just be looking to make all of these rules for people because we know what's better than like better for them Mm -hmm. than they, than they know for themselves. Mm -hmm. If they make a decision that's going to negatively impact their life, they have to deal with the consequences. Mm -hmm. It's not our responsibility to look out and be like, Oh, you're not going to be able to see the road. So no one can ever drive in the fog. Mm -hmm. like girl look at that analogy you just pulled out of your ass right there that was pretty impressive um i i think that that's a really um intelligent response to that i've actually never had anybody kind of put it that way and um i mean it's obvious that you're intelligent and it's obvious to me you talking about the decisions like how how we discussed earlier, the way that you saw your mom and, you know, maybe the struggles that she had are a result of like her not knowing better. I mean, it seems to me like you've always had like an emotional intelligence and you've always had like an awareness that other people lack. Um, So I think that you're probably a great example of that counter argument, you know, saying like that you need to be a certain age in order to make good decisions. Cause it seems to me like you feel like you've made the right decision. And like I said, I know other people too. Um, and it's probably frustrating as well. And it's, it's interesting because I'm, I'm clearly older now. Um, but it, it also must be frustrating too, being younger and having people sometimes tell you like, you don't know what's best for you because you're not old (laughs) enough. Right. Do you get that? It's almost like, and there is a certain, there is something to be said. Like we all do like grow wiser as we grow older. That definitely happens to all of us, you know, like I'm definitely wiser than I was when I was your age for sure. But that doesn't mean that like, you don't know, you're not a child. Yeah. I mean, the best example is guys under 35 Mm -hmm. acting like women at 20 are more immature than they are. Mm. Yeah. Like, you know, women mature faster than men. Yeah. So like, that's like a great example. Like people will say, oh, just because you have less years than me, I know more than you. Mm -hmm. Like, okay. Yeah. And I think that a lot of things too, that we have to account for is like people's life experience and, um, their environment because, you know, some people are really sheltered Yeah, and they, so at a certain age, they're going to know a lot less than somebody who's much younger, who's been had a lot of life experiences that have taught them things faster than other people, I would say. For sure. 
Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.